So they called me up and I was in Brooklyn and they said, uh, you got to move to Los Angeles in 12 hours. So I told my roommate, I'll pay rent for the next few months, but I got to, I got to go. So we we're doing auditions. Um, you're getting better. I'm sure with the craft, um, acting at what point do we eventually get to the Steve Harvey show? Was that early in your career? Was that like That's that? early. Like probably two years after I, maybe a year and a half after I started in the business. So wow. I did like, a, I did the, the, a couple of films and a couple of pilots for W for the Warner Brothers Network at the time. So I was on their radar already. I, but I didn't know this. This is another thing about the business, you know. Once you're on certain people's radar, then they're more comfortable hiring you because they know what, you know, they know how you're going to present yourself. So about a year and a half into that, into starting my acting career, um, I was working with another a woman, I, uh, my acting coach at the time, Davina McFadden, and she's also an actress. She was in, uh, she was in a really great HBO film called A Stranger Inside. It won a bunch about about female prisoners. Okay. It was really a good movie, and she she was the she was the lead in that. And she she really really taught me the rhythms of sitcom comedy and how to audition. And and um, she's a powerful black woman. You know, she just taught me a lot about myself. And so when the, the opportunity to work on the Steve Harvey show presented itself, I felt really comfortable, like walking into that audition and going, yeah, I could, I, I could probably play this part. But when I went into the meeting, I, met, I went and met with Stan Lathan, who's the executive producer and the director of all the episodes, just a, absolutely phenomenal. That's, he's one of the smartest guys I've ever met in Hollywood. He, uh, he sat me down and we started talking, and I just, at the time, I mean, I, I just really didn't like white guys acting like black guys. Like, I mean, it just really bothered, like, kind of see, I just didn't like it. Is it just because the... Uh, it, it just seems so fake to me. York? Just be yourself. I mean, just right. be who, you know, you be comfortable with who you are. Don't, don't try and fit in by, act. don't, just be yourself. Hey, hey, I know some white guys who grew up with all black guys, and that's the, if they act like that's themselves. Right. I'm not saying all guys, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I know some suburbs. dudes that are, yeah, but there are so many of them from the suburbs that are doing this. And I mean, not, not, maybe not now. I don't want to, I don't want to judge anybody. I don't care what they do. Right. People do whatever they want. But in like, when, it, back in the day, it just seems, it just seemed like a bit much to me. I mean, I just didn't like it. Is that how you... Were that's how I thought that... No, that's not what they were telling me, but that's what I perceived the character to be. So I was like, I just kind of went in there with a little bit of an attitude. Like, that was always me anyway. Kind of a little bit of chip on my shoulder. I'm short. I'm Irish. Like, just... <laughs> just kind of... <laughs> but I'm big on the inside. That's what, that's what I... I'm like a chicken hawk. <laughs> so... Uh, you an audition and... And I, I went in there and um, I just said, look, man, I just, I got no interest in wearing like, just, I got no interest pretending to be somebody I'm not. I, if you want this guy to be a guy who was raised in Chicago and raised in a trailer park and, and then he's going to act like this, he's not going to act like that. There's just no way. He wouldn't act like that. And Stan starts laughing. It's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> and, then, and then I left and he gave me the job. Awesome. Cause I think he really liked. I think Stan really liked that. Cause at the end of the day, dude, they never asked me to ever to ever portray that character. No, they never asked me to portray that character in any way aside from the way that I was p playing the character. Right. Yeah. So you get a call, or did your agent let you know that you landed in the role? I was like, I was living in Brooklyn at the time, and they called me up. And they said, they had, listen, I don't know wh why it happened. They'd hired someone else. A, another kid played my role in the pilot. But for some reason, that didn't, it just didn't work out. And they replaced that kid with me in the show. And the show had been picked up. So they, I didn't know any of this processes. You know, I didn't know how hard it was for a pilot to get picked up to begin with. I just thought, oh, pilot, 13 episodes, let's go. You know, I mean... <laughs> That's not the way. I've I filmed a lot more pilots since then, and none of them have gone to 13 oh. episodes. <laughs> like, no, but so they called me up, and I was in Brooklyn, and they said, uh, you got to move to Los Angeles in 12 hours. So I told my roommate, I'll pay rent for the next few months, but I got I to gotta go. And I, 
packed up all my shit and moved to LA. <laughs> like, like that was a sitcom, that whole scene. <laughs> that was, was that your first time back to LA after that? That was my first time back to LA since filming that film. Yeah. And what's overtaking you? As far as like a young actor, you just booked a show. I'm, f I'm afraid. Mm. I'm scared. Never done. I'm not, the, the, the pressure starts to build. Is it the fear of like losing it? Fear of losing the job. They fired the kid that, that I took the job from. I was like, that started to sink in. I'd never done any comedy before. Mm -hmm. Just working with. I used to watch Showtime at the Apollo in my apartment when I was a kid, and I loved Steve, and I was, and I loved uh, Cedric because he hosted his he hosted uh, he hosted the comedy show that was on, I think on on BET. Okay, comedy. Yeah, I loved him. So I mean, I was just, I was, and then I just was a little nervous. I was very, I'm very nervous.